moving on. The investigation to the Israel police's alleged use of NSO's Pegasus to spy on Israeli citizens is ongoing, yet so far there has been no concrete evidence of wrongdoing, according to a preliminary probe. So joining us now with the latest updates is advocate Joey Ash, former head of the criminal division in the state's attorney's office. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Good evening. So a preliminary, preliminary investigation is underway. What do we know so far? Well, actually, it's a good point that I think we, sh we should all remember that at this stage, we don't know much. We know very little, as a matter of fact. And um, we have the investigative report, the media report, which is horrific. If it's true, it's, it's really horrific. On the other hand, we have the police version of events. And I think that until the, the investigation is concluded, we really will not know what happened and what the scope, if there was any wrongdoing, what the scope of it is. And therefore, I think we should be very cautious of blaming anybody, certainly the police. We have only have one police force. They work hard. And I think they, they deserve the benefit of the doubt. So at this stage, we don't know much. We do know from what I read in the papers, and I certainly do not know this firsthand, is that um, there may have been wrongdoings, but it did not enter the investigation itself. But still, I'm, 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 I'm repeating what I, what I understand from the media, and, and which is not, I certainly can't vouch for that. Now, former Israel Police Commissioner Oni al-Sheikh on Sunday, he denied allegations entirely, saying that the Israel Police doesn't even have access to NSO Group's uh, Pegasus software. Uh, what do you make of this? I think it's absolutely possible. I mean, you know, I, like I said before, I believe him until he's proven wrong. Um, I actually heard or I read a report from, from somebody who's investigating some of the cell phones that allegedly were worked upon, worked on, and he said that um, they probably were, in, they probably were um, tapped into, but he could not say if it was Pegasus or not. He also said that you can buy software for $40, $40 or $50 and do the exact same thing. So I believe al Sheikh until I have evidence that he's not telling the truth. Now, what do we know regarding uh, the use of NSO spyware in former Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's criminal cases? Because there have been some developments there as well. From what I know, um, and again, I'm, I'm relying on reports um, from what I've read, like I said before, maybe there were wrongdoings. I do not know if, it, if the wrongdoings had any, anything to do with Pegasus or a different variant of Pegasus. Um, but from what I understand, none of the unlawful um, actions entered the, the um, investigation. Again, I think we'll all have to be patient and wait until this whole investigation is completed, and then we'll have, you know, more definite findings. Now, drawing from your experience at the state's attorney's office, though, I mean, could this lead to dismissing the charges against Netanyahu? It certainly has. We've seen it's delayed the case this week. So, so what could possibly happen or what's happening now? Well, that is a possibility. Um, the court definitely has, has the commission to disqualify evidence if they were um, obtained unlawfully. But again, any assessment as to disqualification of evidence without knowing exactly what happened and the details here are very important. So anybody who's trying to assess if the court will or will not disqualify um, evidence is assessing, is giving an assessment that is completely unfounded because it might be determined that the police were engaged in unlawful um, actions, but that didn't enter the investigation, or that it did enter the investigation, but the investigators did not make any use of it. The first condition of disqualifying evidence is that the evidence was obtained unlawfully. And many times there were unlawful, unlawful actions taking place. Well, not many times, but it did happen before. And still the court determined that the evidence in question was not obtained by those unlawful actions. So one can really not know, and, and we'll have to wait until we know exactly what happened and what exactly the investigators used while they were investigating uh, Netanyahu's case. So what is likely to happen now uh, with the Netanyahu trial? Well, I think that the court will probably wait until it has a definite um, answer, until it gets 
definitive findings about the um, evidence that had to do with the next, next um, witness, which is uh, Shlomo Filber. Um, and I would imagine that until the court is, is um, satisfied that, that the court knows exactly what happened, the trial will be postponed. Um, I have a feeling that the court should have answers from what I'm reading within a few days. All right, Advocate Joey Ash, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us today. Thank you. ILTV Plus, your news from Israel and more 24-7. Start your free trial today. Subscribe at ILTV.TV and watch from any device.